So here it is, right? Demon tried to take my child. Let me just show you my child. <laughs> this is my child. <laughs> A demon tried to take her from me. And I wasn't having it, right? Ivy, we weren't having it, right? But like I said, she's my little protector. <laughs> she's hiding her face. Oh my God. <laughs> Shut my pretty you are, baby. <laughs> so a demon tried to take her. So I, I'm going to hold her here. Oh, no, there she goes. She's gone. Oof. Anyway, um, ugh. you know, I brush her every day, but it's the time of the year where you know okay so like I said a demon tried to take her and um I couldn't get to sleep you know too good that night so I took a sleeping pill yes it's not ambient or anything but yeah I took a sleeping pill and um excuse me so I got off to sleep really good you know so I was started dreaming you know the dream comes into focus of me sleeping in my bed as I was that's why I thought it was so real you know and who knows it could have been real who knows but anyway um she's sleeping at the foot and her, at her little pallet I, I showed you all that before that's where she sleeps at night and I see this demon the demon looks like ghost face. Mm -hmm. Looks like ghost face, but without the white mask. So when I looked at the demon in the face, there was nothing there but black, you know? Everything was black. Like he had on black gloves and he had the hood, the long thing, everything. So of course you see, like you have seen where Ivy likes to post herself, you know, on the couch. Because I have my apartment set up like a studio apartment, even though it's a one bedroom. So. I have my bedroom portion is by the windows and then the couch is there to separate and make a little living room area. That's a whole other story of why I'm, I, I'm doing that. So, but anyway, we're not gonna get into that. But anyway, so Ivy's at the foot of the bed, Ivy's sleeping. So I see the demon like kneel on the couch to lean over to get her. So I sit up in the bed and I'm like, no get away and i'm doing this and i'm like get away get away you know and i'm saying no you know i'm saying just like i'm like no no you can't have her you can't have her let me just tell you this this is the first time ever in a dream or whatever that i stood up to a demon to fight a demon to actually fight a demon okay first time ever and I'm so proud of myself because usually I'll be cowering down in fear and like, oh my God, you know, crying like, oh, I had a bad dream. Mm -mm. Not when it comes to my child. No, not when it comes to my baby, because that's my baby. That's my life. And no one is going to take her away from me. So anyway, back to the dream. So he's on the left side of the couch, which is the foot of the bed, and he's leaned over and he's trying to grab her. And I lean up and I'm going towards the bottom of the bed. I'm like, nah. Like, what you doing? No, no, you can't have her. She's mine. You can't have her over my dead body. You cannot have her. So it's like, I go back to sleep and I wake up again and I see this, this, this thing. And he's like, or it's like, or whatever you want to call it, he, she, it, whatever it is. It's, it's, it's trying to get her again. And I'm like, no, stop it. You can't have her. I will not let you have her. She is mine. She is mine. So I pull Ivy's front legs up towards the top of the bed where I am. He goes down to the right side of the couch, which is positioned to be in the middle of my bed. And he grabs her hind legs before I can get her to me, to hold her to me. So it's like we're playing tug of war. I'm on my side. I got her front legs. He got her hind legs. And we're like this. And I'm like, no, no. So in my dream, I'm screaming, no, no. You can't have her. You can't have her. She's mine. She's mine. You can't have her. So probably in my dream, I'm not even screaming out. I'm probably like, no, no, no. You can't have her. 
you know, your mouth feel, but in, you know, when you, when sometimes when I'm screaming in my dreams, cause I've had them before. Sometimes when I'm screaming in my dreams and I'm like, uh, you know, trying to say something and my mouth feel like I, it's, it's, it has a whole bunch of, uh, gunk in it like blah, blah, blah. no in my dream i was saying no no so i must have been screaming out no 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 i must have been so we're playing tug of war and i'm like no no you can't have her you can't have her she's mine she's mine ivy is mine you can't have her i will not let you take her she's mine you're not gonna get her and i'm like no 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 so it's like i finally come come to my senses in my dream and I wake up and I'm like no at the top of my lungs Ivy jumps on the bed she jumps on me to wake me up I have never felt closer to her at that time than I felt at that moment she is my little protector she saved my life she saved my life I I can't even explain the love that I have for her. So I sat her down in the next morning and I had a talk with her and I said, Ivy, you're my little protector and I love you so much. And I never thought that I can be closer to you than I was before this dream. But I see now that I can be and I am. I said, I will protect you with my life just like you protected me in my dream. She jumped up on me to see what was going on with me, why I was screaming. And her eyes, was, her pupils were so big, like, Mommy, what's going on, Mommy, Mommy? So every time Ivy has a dream and she's flinching up in her dream, you know, and she's a, I just take her and I, I rub her, you know, I rub her, her little head. She wakes up, I give her a kiss, she licks me, and she goes back to sleep. So we protect each other here. So that's the story of a demon trying to take my child. What do y'all think about this? Because this is absolutely crazy. I know I sound crazy and, and all of that, but mm, I just had to say it. I just had to say it. I had to tell it. I had to tell it. That's it. <laughs> Bye.